Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Blind Let's Play of The Outer Worlds. You join us back over at Amber Heights where we need to turn in the printing press to Graham as well as we have this music box or lock box for Ash that we need to uh, give to him. So let's start with Ash and see what his story is going to be. I don't believe him. I think he's a raider of some form. Oh, Yoka, how have you been? Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Well, I found the monster's body. You know, a tiny part, a damn stupid part of me, hoped he was still out there. What happened? They bought themselves a ticket off world, but they were attacked while waiting for it. Damn. Well, you find our box of memories? Yeah, but the thing is, I found a list of agents in that outpost, and you aren't on it. <laughs> well, ain't you clever. Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along. A bit more lucrative. So you abandoned them, and they died out there. And their payment almost died with them. Thanks to you, I can afford another round. Cheers, hero. Look, I like your gumption. I was gonna share the bits. But here's a couple extra. Now go on. Leave an old man to his past. Hey, fine. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you were a slimy snake oil dealer. This is exactly what you were. Alright, so our other one is the commuter. So let's go find Graham real quick. And then we're going to go and work on Vicar Max. We need to go over to Fall, Fallbrook, Fall Creek. And find out the deal about his book. See if we can get it translated. And we also have the space pirate adventure to deal with over there as well. Let's see, he was upstairs, I believe. Hopefully he's not too mad that we chose to get them food and medicine instead of more materials. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Yes, I got your rollers, and the rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Well, I've got some bad news. Uh, Sanjay made it illegal to sell to you guys. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Um... hmm... So, time to fix up the printing press, then. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. Well said, Max. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. You could have sent them after backing Zora up, couldn't you? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. 
With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Well, I'll do everything that I can. Nice. All right, so we need to go and help them out further. Probably need to do that before they're going to let us uh, stop their radio communications, which is what we need to do for the main quest. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and bobble us over to... Fallbrook. We need to go to the crossroads, so let's do that. Alrighty. Wow. This place is totally different from what I expected. Or round of whiskey. Or both. Who are you? Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs fifty bits. Uh tell me about the amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Okay. I'm here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Uh, well, Lila sent me. Where's Catherine at? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. It's okay, just breathe and point me towards her. She's... she's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skin and a sprat in the saloon. Uh, word to the wise, the Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Ooh, good to know. Well, thank you. I'll be back. Oh, Max, I'm not so close. So, wow, okay. So they're not quite the friendliest sorts of people here, huh? Nelson Mason? Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we fluff. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Did you actually just say wink at me instead of actually winking? Don't believe I did. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. And let me guess, we pocket the half you save. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. And where should I start looking for your missing Sprat carriers? I run my Sprat carriers back and forth through the shipping tunnels near the waterfall. I ought to check there first. Good luck. And uh, don't get any ideas about pilfering the drugs for yourself. Um, hmm, I guess I'd be happy to help. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like, with a wink. My Sprat carrier scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. All right, well, this just doesn't seem all up and above board. Not sure we should have just agreed to that. Ah, well. Live and learn, I suppose. Anyone home? No, doesn't appear to be any ammo laying around. Nope, doesn't appear to be. Alright. Well, let's get over here for Vicar Max, and then we'll try and go and speak with Catherine, I suppose. 
Looks like the next building here. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Sure. Maybe by looking in this. I can't believe I'm stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town. Produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who will pay something for these teeth. And I uh, gold panning, huh? Interesting. Like has gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. I suppose. I suppose so. I mean, sure. All right, let's get out of here. And we need to head that way is he here or is he out somewhere else dry goods and sundry is this a shop oh it is hello hungry i'm famished myself no rubbernecking make a buy or move on well let me see what you've got just ammo actually Oh, I think I might go ahead and buy that. Just the ha heavy ammo, though. Who are you? You shopping for pre-owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Uh, sure, let's see what you've got. Oh, not what I wanted. I wanted uh, that. Ooh, now you've got some nice weapons. Ooh, that could be fun. Bunch of machine guns. Interesting. A plasma launcher. Sounds dangerous. All right, anybody upstairs? Uh, just a balcony. Okay, fair enough. Oh, don't bother coming up, guys. We're going down. What's back here? Ah, bedroom. Interesting. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's get out of here. Where we get yelled at and let's look over here Ooh, are you you're an insurance agent why would we need insurance welcome to the offices of the greater halcyon insurance group halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance i'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence criminal activity or dullness of mind uh, well, duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Good to know. And why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. What else can you tell me about your insurance policies? Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Uh, who would get an outrageous statement insured? That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clients. <clears throat> In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. Ah, so an out for a politician's lies, I see. Uh, disastrous marriages. Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. Uh. There's one for your beloved eloping with her sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child, 
We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Wait, people get their eyebrows insured. Usually character actors or corporate execs with menacing stares. <laughs> I guess that's all I needed to know. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Very good to know. That's all for now, though. Holy gravy, Bicker Max. Did you hear that? These people are insane. Totally insane. Nothing in our fridge. Oh, my. Excuse me, guys. Let's check upstairs real quick. See if there's... Ooh. Uh, let's not be nibby yet. We'll, uh, we'll be good. We'll be good for right now. And this is a bar? No. Diner, maybe? Wesley, you don't huh? look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? I'll get out of your hair. Interesting. Why would I want to know about uh, the whiskey? Ah, here we go, Catherine. Uh huh. You blind little bird, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Crude, but forthright. I admire that. Hmm. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Well, nice to meet you. I'll be sure to remember that, little bird. Want to tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Well, actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Yeah, the stuff that Lila mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Right. Are you kidding me? Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Sure. No problem. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibility. You know when to strike and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a fan. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Well, good thing we have an engineer. Pravardi will probably handle that. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Sure, I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. 
clear as that. Yeah, I get the feeling this is going to involve some murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lumber, the self-proclaimed forest king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. Mm -hmm. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid fucker who's going to get it. And what specifically do you want me to do? Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. So, say I just kill Clive? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a whit about the method or the means, just the end. What if I decided to sabotage the factory instead? Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machine. Sounds good to me. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in a dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. Nice. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Alright, thank you very much. Well, let's go pick up that ID real quick. Before I forget Remind about it. To get on Ms. Bad side. Yeah, you and me both, Vicar Max. So long as you ain't on her bad side, then she's liable to drown you in the waterfall. <laughs> I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Uh, Catherine said you can give me an ID cartridge for the CMP factory. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. Cotton. Well, I think the fact that Catherine Malin sent me for it makes me special enough. She needs it for a job? Well, why didn't you say so? Reckon you asked her where to best procure one and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, maybe. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? No, I'm good. Thank you. Let's get out of here, guys. Dunk is a little on the strange side. All right, let's continue looking around here, see if there's anything else we need to look at. I am very curious about this area back here, though. What's in there? Ooh, it's locked. Interesting. Is there a back way in? No, it doesn't look like it. And what else do we have? We've got another building here. Ooh, just somebody's home. Okay. Fair enough. And over here, another locked door. Ooh, a domicile key. Interesting. And it looks like he is hiding out back in this direction. Okay, good. Thank you. So, down the river it looks like. All right, well, let's go and pick him, or go and find him, not pick him up. Is he actually back here, though? Oh, yes, he is. What you doing, little buddy? Reginald. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. 
Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Wait a minute, what's going on here? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Why did you lie to me? I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. I don't think so. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Well, Max, maybe it's not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Weird hermit sounds kind of flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. All right, well, what do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Thank you. This has been your lucky day, Reginald. Very lucky day. So... We need to go and find the hermit on Scylla. I wonder if it's that cave that we saw. Sure. What's wrong, Max? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Why didn't you tell me you served time in prison? You never asked. Very funny. Would you like to explain now? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. Why did you feel the need to lie to me about Cheney? You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Oh, I understand. We all get a little obsessed sometimes. You're definitely forgiven. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Sure, let's move on then. All right. Well, we did that. So now it means we have to go back to the Scylla. But we aren't going to do that yet. We've got more things we need to do while we're here. I would like to finish exploring this place. This place is so cool looking. So are you guys panning for gold as well? Kind of looks like it. I wonder if there's anything behind the waterfall. Let's go over and take a look real quick. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a big secret cave back here. Oh, well. Look at that. Whoa, I saw that on the ground. A plasma launcher. Yeah, we are definitely going to get our face blown off with that. Alright. Whoa. Definitely saw that one too. Oh, we're stuck on something. There we go. I don't know. It would have been kind of cool if they had like a, a little room set up back there. Somebody was living. Hiding out. Alright. Looks like we've got these little buildings right over here. 
And then I think we've explored everything here. Wonder what's up above. Am I allowed to go up? Not going to give me any hard time? Thank you. Definitely appreciate that. Just curious to see what's up here. It's almost like a landing pad. Oh. Well, there you go. So we can just have the ship teleported over here. Very nice. Didn't realize that was something that we could do. I just need to remember where I parked the ship now. Get gravy. It's hard enough remembering where I parked the car. So we can't go into that building, but we can go in over here. Nice, our workbench. I think we're good. Just a bunch of random people. Get our vending machine experience there. Well, I know I saw it. There we go. Ooh, I just picked up a sublight employee ID. Nice. Yeah, I don't want to get too, uh, too brazen there. And I looked in there. All right. Let's get out of here. Just another door. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, I think we should probably, uh, start heading over towards the Borst factory. Sounds like fun. What do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's switch our quest then. Uh, let's see. Slaughterhouse Clive. That one sounds like it's going to be a hoot. Hey, Cap. Knock, knock. Go away, White. That's not how the game works. I say knock, knock. Like I'm on the outside of the <laughs> Oh, good gravy. It's bad when you have to explain a knock-knock joke. Really, really bad. And we gotta get his Sprat Carriers. That could be interesting, too. Whoa. Alright, guys. We are in the sewer entrance to the Boris factory. Went ahead and just fast-traveled us over here and popped in. Save us a little bit of load screen time. Let's see how this is going to go. What is up there? I hear th something. Oh. That's a cyst pig, huh? Interesting. And very ugly. Oh, dude. Alright, let's see if we can go up another one. I'm sure we probably want to definitely avoid. Oh, no. Where are you going, little dude? Oh, we got a person over there. We need to get over that way. I wonder if it's going to um, run us all the way through. Ooh, there is a door right over there, but it seems really risky. Oh, are you going back? That door could be locked. It may want us to go the long way. Come on, go on. Don't look at us. Oh, no, no, no. You don't see us. We are shadows in the daytime. Keep going. There you go. No, 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 no,
You see nothing. You see nothing. There is nothing here. There you go, little buddy. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, that was close. Oh, did this just run us downstairs? So, not where we want to be. I will take their ammo, though. Oh, jeez. Yep. Just where do you think you're sneaking to? Production line is that away, you worthless cat about. We got caught. Oh, come on. You aren't going to report me, are you? I'm darn well thinking about it. Please don't. Well, since you asked me real nice, fine. I'll let it fly. But just this once, mind you. Got it. Note to self, don't go back downstairs. Don't get caught. Oh, good gravy. This is going to be hard. Where did our little robot buddy go? Oh, we are so... Come on, come on, come on. Our disguise is about to go off. Oh, Jesus, this is just a bathroom. Oh, what have we done? So maybe this isn't the way we need to be? We are so going to have to kill these people, aren't we? Why am I not going down? There we go. Yep. Oh, yuck. They even have worms. Oh, we have a guy there. Over in that direction. Can we get through back here? Oh, we've got three more people over here to try and hide from. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Come on, people, go back to your... Get away from there! What are you doing? Can I just shoot these people and get them out of my way? Where are you going? Let's increase the vitamins. Come on. Jeez. No, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Oh, man. How do we get into that guy? No, nothing's up. No, 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 no. Don't perform anything. Dang it. Do you think you might have forgotten something? I'm not sure, did I? Don't play coy. I know you were warned about wandering around once already. I think you may have me confused with someone else. I'll pretend I believe you so long as you get back to work. Yes, sir. On it. Go on, little robot. I am a terrible at sneaking in this one. 
it would seem. Can I get through here? Whoa. I did something. Holy bananas. Whoa, another door. Oh, jeez. I need to get up there. Hmm. What's over this way real quick? Oh, we got people there. Man, they just leave bits laying around everywhere. I don't want to go in there. Anything we can do in here? Slip protocol. Sure. Wait, what was that last one? Ah, there we go. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea what we're doing. We're just kind of blundering our way through here. Sure. Too bad we can't just put an outfit on and... Whoa. What happened? Ah. So the radios are locked down. Okay, cool. So don't go in that way. What the heck? Oh no! Did I just get the employees killed by the robots? Seems a bit harsh mind oh no, 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 no. I, I think that's exactly what I've done oh seems a bit harsh if you ask me well Sugar, how do we get up to him now? Alright. Jeez, Vicar Max. Louise, what have we done here? And we decided to assassinate the whole place. Now you guys fight it out. I'll just continue looking around. There we go. Yes. Is that still an employee back there? It is. Dang. Well, let me, uh. 
wouldn't let me shoot him. Whoa, jeez. Don't know what that was about. Yeah, we're not going through there. That guy did not hear us shooting. That's so weird. Very weird indeed. That's the elevator. Is that what I need to... I don't think. I think I need to get over here. Could be the way I need to go, though. Uh-oh. Nope, go away, go away, go away. Definitely. Seems like he's the only one that survived the massacre here. At least for right now. Ooh, I just got the office key. Nice. Oh, I see that up there. Don't ask me more about it. Not where he can hear. Had to sneak into your data pad. Just be careful. All I know is Tammy spied Slaughterhouse Clive feeding the sis some questionable meat. Awful bloody with bones poking out of it. Says later she found a hand in the trough. Now Tammy's been downsized too and the pigs keep getting fatter. Oh. So. Yuck. This guy deserves to be knocked out. Eliminated. Thinking feeding people to pigs. Doesn't seem quite ethical. Nice to see our ammo going back up though. We were getting quite low on the heavy ammo. Alright, so we need to get up? Do we need to go up? I'm not quite sure where this guy's at. I may need the elevator. Increase production rate by 200%. Oh, I, apparently I've dealt with Clive. Nice. Kind of wouldn't mind going over and killing him too. Nasty little man. Feeding people to pigs. Just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Mm, you got a little blood there on your shirt, like right over there. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing sometimes. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody forced worst so those parts are from the cis pegs i do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of forced worst on occasion i like to imbibe other parts of the cysty pig did you fancy me a cannibal perish the thought no i don't eat the bodies i disappear a joke at last was yeah i don't think so, so what can i do for you my full attention is at your disposal. Captain, I would caution that we tread carefully through the remaining morass of this encounter for the safety of all involved. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I 
still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Well, don't take this personally. That's the last of them. Yeah. Give me your office key, dude. Slimy little dude. I had felt very justified in doing that. Very justified indeed. And I'm taking this vodka. Eek. Oh, he terminated his files. So, if they didn't call him king, they went to the pigs. Interesting. Ugh. Slimy man. You deserved that. Any more bits just laying around? Oh, I guess we could have just come up the, uh... His special borst. I don't know why I just picked that up. I guess we could have just come straight up the elevator instead of going around. And that's sealed. Can I use it to get out? Maybe not. Alright, let's check this other elevator then. Oh no, it did show up. There we go. Looks like they killed everyone down here as well. Oh, this is where we were at. Okay, fair enough. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Our job is done. Ooh, did I look in you? I did. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Apparently we still need to sneak out this way. Oh, yep. Yep. They have killed the other employees. I kind of feel bad about that. Kind of wouldn't mind killing the pigs. That's just really gross. Alright, let's get out of here before they come and try and eat our face off. Can I just jump down? I can, thank you. Let's get out of here and return back to Fallbrook. Sounds great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. Efficient, clever, ruthless. I like her. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's turn this in. Please say the Oda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. Well, good news. I butchered Clive and threw a wrench in the machinery. And when you destroyed my machinery, was it before or after you killed Clive? Because you understand, if it was after, on second thought, don't even tell me. We'll just say I'm doubly grateful. Though there is no double reward. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like sissy pig. Oh, uh, while I'm here, um, Sandra said you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch? Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. 
Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. Um, you sure there's not anything else you don't you know? I thought we were a little bit friendly here. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. All right, well, thank you very much. All right, guys, well, I think we will do that in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Fall Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one. <laughs>